We are going to uh, learn how to run a particular function or how to hit a particular function on a, a very specific frame of any animation. So like when we create a spell system or we want to uh, create the spelling or just uh, putting the file animation with the correct character animation. So that thing will work on that point. So first of all we are just going to download a character. For our animation purpose, we just go to uh, open the mixamo.com and go to character steps. Then you can download one of the characters from here. So I'm just going to download a very simple character like uh, okay, this one. Okay, so I think the net is quite slow, that's why it's uh, taking time to be loaded. Okay, so character is here, now I'm waiting for the textures to be appeared. Okay, so now we can hit the download button for just uh, select the FBS for Unity and uh, Okay, because it's good, and then hit the download button. So it is only 20 MB. So, meanwhile, uh, we are also going to search for the animation which you want. So, I'm just going to search for cast. like uh, this Okay, this is also good. Let's download. Uh, please select here without skin. You will see for FBS and FBS for Unity and then hit the download button. Okay, do cancel and uh, uh, everything is fine. Download it. Okay, so I just select this file and uh, open the project view and then you can easily import this file to UT project by drag and drop. Okay, so now our character is also downloaded. Just drag and drop it to our UT project. Just hold on while the character is importing. Okay, so now the character is here. Now, first of all, we need to just accept the texture and uh, uh, the character to our scene. Okay. 
Okay, so here's our character. Now we are going to use extract uh, texture first. You can also select a particular folder where you, you want to locate your character. Then extract the material. Okay, so now when you import the character here in your scene view. Like this and then position it to 0, 0, 0. Okay, so here it is. Uh, Okay, so I'm also going to add a plane. Okay. Now, first of all, we need to uh, create an animator here so that we can add animation to our character. Create an animator controller. Yeah, okay, and select the maybe custom object and then add an animator here and just drag and drop this one. Okay, and now go to animator window. You can also open the animator window from here. Yeah, this is the animator window and then right click on the blank area and create an MPP state and then go to edit this is the animation clip just assign it here okay and then Hit play button. So you will see whether it is working or not. Okay, you can see the animation is working fine, but it is not in loop. So we just go to here and uh, select the animation and then start loop time. But actually, if uh, it is uh, uh, okay. If it is inside this FBX file, then the, the animation clip will not give us the uh, read and write permission. So we just select this uh, file and uh, and hit Control D so that uh, the file will outside the FBX file. And then go to animator window, select the new state, so rename it style cast. Okay, and then assign this one here. Yes. Okay, I'm just changing the name. We set the ORG. Okay, so you can see this one is extended here, and now we go to the animation window like this. You can see now when you can right click here. So here's the add animation event yes. So and also here you can see where you want to run the particular function like we want this here. So we just move this uh, animation event to here. Here you can select the function but actually there is no effect on the our, uh, character. So we just go and add the new effect. Character.
okay so this process is added now i am going to open in visual studio okay so here that's it now here we are going to create a function public void ae means animation event cell cast and here we are going to print a log cell cast so Just waiting to skip to be compiled, and here you can see the function. So when we start the uh, assign the function here, and then go to console and hit the play button. So you can see on the particular then the function. Okay, here you can see the log is printing. Okay, so now we need to add a cast. So go to asset store. Search for the cell. Also check the free asset button and I don't know what is happening. Okay, so here are multiple type of. Uh, Excel system. So I'm just going to uh, download this one. Okay, actually I'm not signed in. Okay, so now I can download this. Now we need to hit the import button and uh, uh, waiting for decompressing, collecting content and import all the assets. So now minimize the asset store and go to the center and here you can see there are 52 special effects so uh, also some errors are there okay cs so on effect dot cs so oh. We so now go to project tab and uh, effect, effect, and you can see uh, multiple effects. 
can also make them play by like this ring okay so we just need to search for the element one I cloud animation maybe it will work not sure I call Okay, this will also work, not a problem. Stop them off and just move it to here, then move it to 0, 0, 0. Okay, so now first of all, we just need to go and uncheck this up completely and then uh, left the uh, bottom three and Put it under the smoke and delete that from cloud here. Again, take select all the children and the parent object of particle and stop the evolution room. Okay, and now go to the uh, script. Yeah. Here we just do transform dot get child. So here we put the number 0, 1 and 2 so then get the component of particle system particle system and then hit the play ok so this is the thing Okay, so select uh, all the particle and is the way to be true, play on the Okay, and then we also need to just zoom out a little bit and look like this. Okay, so now you can see how we are running a function on particular uh, animation frame. So, this is very simple. If you like my tutorial, so please uh, like the video and subscribe my channel for more tutorials. Thank you. Thank you so much.